Hey yo, it's Farmer Me Maya, and today I have a Kroger haul. These are the things, y'all, I went to Kroger, I was just going to get some almond milk, some coconut milk, um, some of this kind of coconut milk, and um, some SpaghettiOs for my son, okay? It, but, but this is what I came home with. So, here's what I got. I got, from like this part over is my keto haul. And from, well, this little row right here is my non-keto haul. Um, so, here, here are the basics. I got coffee, my instant coffee. Y'all know me in instant coffee. Um, so, that's not a big deal. I've never tried cashew milk. They did not have unsweetened coconut milk. They had unsweetened almond milk, I think. But I decided... It had 30 calories, and this has 25, and so I'm going to try this because I've heard that it's really good. I double-checked the ingredients list. That's why I wore my glasses, y'all, um, but it does not contain carrageenan. Silk, I believe, is the only brand I've been able to find without carrageenan, and the reason that I am um, wanting some cashew milk or coconut milk or almond milk or whatever is because I'm going to branch out and start having shakes in the morning instead of coffee, perhaps, <laughs> or maybe in addition to. We'll just have to wait and see. Coconut milk. I've got some upcoming recipes that, and this was on sale, and it was a coupon. It also had a coupon, and you it, you could use it up to five times. And so I'm stocking up on this as well. Same thing. This Simple Truth Organic, they had a lot of stuff on sale that was organic where you could save more with coupons. And so I got these and I got the unsweetened coconut flakes. All of these have plans in future recipes. And these are the unsweetened. They're all unsweetened, y'all. These are coconut chips. These are the ones that you see people making like vegan bacon with. So, yeah. I'm going to use, I'm going to try that as well. Um, I bought some leafy green lettuce because I'm going to try to have a little, I'm, I'm trying to lighten it up. Y'all. Oh, and I'm changing my diet around um, and I'm going to start, good Lord willing and the creeks don't rise, I'm going to start tracking my macros. And, you know, really the ones that I'm, I'm most obviously Carbs are the biggest, and so I'm going to be sure that I'm not inadvertently eating too many carbs during the day, but also protein. I'm, I think I'm needing to up my protein, and I will probably limit my fat. We're just going to we're just going to do a little bit of trial and error and see what works. And y'all, here's here's another thing. Well, let me let me let me tie it into what I'm about to show you. Almonds, you guys buy them in bulk if they're available. These were six ninety nine a pound, and I think the ones that I usually get is probably ten or twelve ounces, and it's usually like you know six ninety nine or more. And um, this for all of these, and this was um, two thirds of a pound for four sixty eight, and so that's about ten plus about ten plus ounces. So yeah raw almonds and I get raw so I got almonds I got peanuts this is more for like maybe a granola type thing and then y'all these I got way too many of these but they were they were a closeout item so they were a really good price like at least half or maybe not even half and I can't stand full price of nuts y'all it's ridiculous I don't know why well yes I do if you've ever tried to shell nuts you know why they're so expensive but these are diced walnuts also for upcoming recipes. But the thing about walnuts, and one of the reasons I stocked up, besides the fact that they're delicious, is that they are really good. They contain chemicals that are good for women and hormone regulation and that sort of stuff. And y'all, my hormones are all over the place. I mean, all over the place and they're like you know most people's will like fluctuate once every 30 ish 28 to 30 days or whatever no 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 ever 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 two weeks or even not even every two weeks here just ridiculous so 
Yeah. And, and you know, that also increases. I'm, I'm not just having those crazy, crazy, those crazy cravings once a month. I'm having them twice a month. And so my hormones are all over the place, y'all. And so I'm going to be changing part of what I'm going to be doing when I'm, when I'm changing my diet is to adjust to these oncoming changes. And some things are going to help kind of regulate and maybe normalize, good Lord willing, normalize the hormone fluctuations. But I'm also going to increase my protein because around this time of our life, my life, I'm going to probably start losing muscle mass because that's what our bodies do at this age or, you know, sometimes older, sometimes younger. It just, it starts packing on fat and I, I'm not cool with that. And so I'm going to fight. And so one way I'm fighting it is I'm going to be increasing my protein. I apologize if you just heard my son burp. Anyway, he's in the next room. So I am, I am going to, and I will share with you more in a different video about what I'm doing, but I am, I'm going to increase my protein. I'm increasing some of the other things that I'm, that I'm eating that's going to help me to stay healthy and young and strong as long as possible, y'all. My goal is to not be on medications, not, you know, not age the typical way these days. It's really sad. Um, but I don't plan on being on medications my whole life. I'm going to try to start now. We, it doesn't matter how old we are. It's not too late to start. So anyway, so I've got a bunch of walnuts, and that's going to help me in my journey to becoming a healthier middle-aged woman yeah I, I plan to become every bit of 94 my grandma's 94 right now and still going so yeah I'm, I'm I'm just now reaching the middle of my age so anyway so I got also my non-keto let's talk about non-keto yo crunch it was on sale and then you buy five and you save five and so this was like a dollar 49 they're usually like three ninety nine, three something it's ridiculous how much it costs normally so I only buy it when it's on sale. But I got that um, because my son loves it. And then before I saw that those were on sale, these were also a closeout item. And I got these because I make homemade yogurt that tastes like that yogurt and it's delicious. And so I was going to get some little minis to put on top of that to mimic these that I then found on sale. So anyway, but I already had these in my cart and forgot. I also got him a couple of SpaghettiOs, y'all, because, you know, SpaghettiOs. Lastly, they were marked down because, you know, heaven forbid she can eat a banana with a brown spot. And so, I got them cheaper. <laughs> and we have not had bananas in a terribly long time. I used to buy them all the time. And so, the boys can have all the bananas they want. And then I can dehydrate some because banana chips are the bomb. I don't like bananas. I love banana chips, but I can't eat them anyway. So, that doesn't matter, but... The kids and the grandkids all like banana chips. And so, yeah, these are perfect for dehydrating. And really lastly, I got another icing bucket. This, y'all may wonder, what in the world are you doing with all those icing buckets? What am I not doing with these icing buckets? I mean, they hold dog food, chicken food, bird food, um, human food. They hold, because they're food grade, they hold sugar, flour, rice. Um, and they're, they're airtight, okay, and they, they clean this one out, I love it when I get one that's already cleaned out, y'all, I guess to prevent ants on their end, they clean them out, so hallelujah for a cleaned out icing bucket, but, um, this is part of my ongoing struggle with those, um, pantry moths, this is pantry moth proof. And so if I, if I don't want to put everything in mason jars, like if I have, um, like, okay, like these walnuts, I'm putting them in the freezer. But if I weren't going to put them in the freezer, and if they weren't something like, you know, just something in a bag that I don't want to open 42 bags of and put in mason jars right now, I can put them all in here and then mark it so that I know what's in there. But yeah, or, you know, back these bags of coconut. You know, I may want to, again, they'll probably go in the freezer, but things like that and um, brown sugar, powdered sugar, when it's on sale and you stock up for the holidays, but you don't necessarily, or marshmallows, you don't necessarily want to empty a bag of marshmallows because one bag is a perfect amount for like Rice Krispie treats. And so instead of 
um, you know, if you catch them on sale and you stock up, instead of putting them all in mason jars or risk, you know, those pantry moths getting into them, put them in a bucket. Close the bucket. These, these lids spill. Y'all, I had a whole video on how to open it or how to close, how to open these buckets because y'all, I couldn't get them out. I, I thought something was wrong because the lid wouldn't close. No, I just didn't know how to do it. So yeah, I have I have a whole video on how to open a lid or close a lid. I don't remember which, but yeah, because I'm like that. So anyway, but you just close it up and it's sealed. And then you don't have to worry about pantry moths getting into whatever it is, your, your bags of chips or whatever. So anyway, that is, y'all, there's all my goodies over there from my um, haul in New York. But that's, I already did that video. So yeah, y'all have a great day. Hope you enjoyed my my pantry haul. <laughs> no, my grocery haul. I'm going to stop now because I'm not making sense. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon with recipes. Bye, Bye y'all.